Hello and welcome to my awesome health journey. I am Brett Dupree and as you can tell from my hair, I haven't showered yet. Today is, oh yeah, welcome to my awesome health journey. I think I already said that. Ah, oh, brain. Anyway, uh, too bad I can't redo these and I have to use this one. Anyway, today is my weekly update and I really want to talk about body recovery because I don't think I give myself enough credit lately. Uh, today, I haven't worked out yet. Uh, it's Saturday and today is going to be my 16th workout this week. Which is awesome because it's the 24th of August and I have all of next week. And I have a chance to hit one of my goals, which is 20 workouts in a month. I might hit it. I don't know. Uh, it all depends on, you know, I'm taking next week off work. Uh, it's my birthday week. Um, so I always take it off work and I might do stuff. Something might pop up. I don't know. I'm just leaving things open. But chances are I'll hit all my workout times. But the cool part is 16. And when I talk about body recovery, I'm looking over my, um, so I had that sheet where I keep track of all my classes. And this workout yesterday was my 15th workout. And this was the first time since I started working out at Orange Theory that I had three months in a row with 15 plus workouts. Um, in fact, if it wasn't for May, which had some injury and, um, some things come up because, you know, life comes up and I would have like, since March, March, I had 17, April had 16, May I had 13 and then June, July, both 16 and August so far 15. And I just remember, I think March is when I started the, uh, five workout weeks uh, which was a goal of mine for a while to just to be able to do. And, um, yeah. So like, I remember when I was trying to work up to 15, um, and work up to being able to do honestly. So my goal of course is three, uh, when I first started, but I could only do two. And like the first workout was, I pushed myself the second workout. I would just do as much as I can. And that was hard. Uh, the Tuesday and Thursdays, because those were 45 minute workouts back when they had those at Orange Theory. They don't have those anymore at the one I go to. And that was all I could do. Um, and I pushed myself and it was freaking hard. And my body hurt all the time. And I was just worn out for so long. And then I started getting better. And, you know, about a year later, I was starting to able to do three to four work. And, you know, I worked out to four and I worked out to five. And my body recovery from workouts is so much better. Uh, like today is going to be my second, fifth workout um, week. I did a, a fifth, five workouts on the 29th through 3rd, 29th of June, July to 3rd. And now I'm doing another one from the 19th to 24th. You know, just life gets in the way. Sometimes I'm not able to work out. Like, I wasn't getting Invisalign and then go work out that day. You know, those days or uh, doctor's appointments or things come up. But generally speaking, so what I do to myself, of course, is three days a week is non-negotiable. And then I tell myself if I can work out, I will work out. A couple changes I did is, like, before, if I had something that took my day off, like uh, my nutritionist, or if I had a doctor's appointment in the morning, I would use that instead of my workout for my lunch hour and then not work out that day. Well, now I work out in the evenings if I can, if it makes sense. Uh, just simple changes like that. And the my body's ability to recover from workouts and how I feel after it is amazing to me now. And it's something that even it's only been like six months since I've been this way, like for two years of working out, it's been, you know, I've been working out for two years and four months now, and at least for 18 months of that have been like uh, pretty hard in the sense of like how I feel like the day of my workout, I would be kind of tired. In fact, I remember I went out with my friend, I think that was in June. Uh, I went out, I worked out on a Saturday and I saw my friend, uh, Mike Badova play some music and that day I felt, I felt worn out. Um, that was a, I think it was my first five workout, uh, week and I felt pretty worn out that day and the entire day 
felt better after I got some carbs in me, but I felt kind of worn out. And just now, um, I feel so much better. And that's kind of the fun part about feeling better is realizing like six months ago, I was feeling better than the six months before that and a lot better. Well, now I feel so much better than I did six months ago. I think of that as like, wow, I feel so much better than six months ago. You know, six months ago was February, right? Uh, yeah, February. And that was, um, you know, I did 13 workouts for some reason. I don't remember why. But uh, I was pushing it. At, oh, yeah. J January was my bounce back from my injuries in December. But, um, and, you know, looking at my results for this year, my... Um, Shoot. Hurry up. Load. Google Sheets is kind of slow. You know, February I was doing 2.5 miles per hour and being really happy about it. This month is I'm still recovering from my ankle, which I th is pretty close. I think the feeling healed. Uh, but I did 2.8, and that's with the hurt ankle. That's like 0 0.2 faster workout. And then just my body feels so much better. And so I'm really hoping, you know, that, you know, God willing or universe willing or whatever higher power willing that I'm able to, um, you know, continue to afford these classes, continue to go to these classes. Um, nothing happens to my body that makes it so I can't. And I look forward to seeing what happens next February, how I feel because I feel so much better, even though, you know, um, I haven't lost as much weight as I like. Uh, but I've said this multiple times. Um, you know, I'm only down like, t you know, around 10 pounds for, from six months ago. And that doesn't feel great to only be down that much. But one thing I do like doing is when we do workouts, like squats or lunges or the stuff we do steps with weights, I like to hold a certain amount of weight. Uh, this is really effective to hold 225s in my hand. Um, I know, just making a joke. But holding those 225 and... Holding those 50 pounds and when I step up on that step thinking to myself, this used to be on my body. Two years ago, I weighed 470 pounds. Now I weigh 420 pounds. These 50 pounds used to just be on my body all the time, wearing me down. As much extra it is to step on this step, I used to have these holding me down as well. And that just makes me feel better. Sure, I am not where I want to be. I'm not under 300, you know, I want to be under 300 pounds. Obviously, I think that'd be great, but I'm still not 474. And honestly, I don't know if I'm 474 because that's how high that scale went. And it just didn't want to make me feel bad or something. Um, but the 50 pounds are off my body and it feels good. So yeah, that's my weekly update. Um, I feel really good about my progress. It's been a long road. It's been a hard road. Um, this is the hardest thing I've ever done physically and, uh, you know, feels like not much, which just, just the way it is though. It's where I was based on personal decisions and, um, circumstance and genetics and the way like life worked out, but I done more to solve this issue in the last two years of my entire life. And I feel like I'm in a better spot now. Probably than I ever been, even when I, a couple years ago when I got down to like 340, um, through starving myself with coffee and butter and pickles. I feel healthier, I feel better, and just gonna keep on, keep on, keep it on. Uh, keep on tweaking, keep on improving, and work on feeling better and better. Well, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I know this one's long, and I know my hair is probably distractingly unkempt. Um, I love you for who you are, and you are worthy.